oftentimes in face-to-face -face classrooms during a regular time, there's a huge push on content. And we have a lot of content that's mandated by the state that teachers need to cover during a school year. What's happening right now in a shift to online is time has shifted. So while the school day may feel like it runs from, let's say, 8 to 3, time in an online classroom is very, very different. And oftentimes, what happens is things take longer online. And online doesn't mean always virtually live at the same time. There's also this offline component that can happen where students are engaged in some other things. So how you think about time in an online setting is just very different and you structure things very differently for, for learning than you would in a face-to-face -face classroom. And that's part of the tension that I see right now that's happening um, in, our, in our pandemic teaching and learning is the time, sh the time element is the piece that we need to pay more attention to for both teachers and students. Yeah, time, time working differently for during the pandemic. Um, <laughs> that's a, you know, on a grand scale, everybody talks about it's still March 2020, right? But also like in terms of the, yeah, the very small uh, uh, individual assignments, right? Um, yeah, I, I had to kind of figure out like whenever you put an assignment into Schoology, teachers are expected to have a little note there that says like, I expect this to take you about 40 minutes or 60 minutes or however long, you know, the work is going to take you. Um, a lot of times that's kind of a shot in the dark <laughs> because for some students it's going to take a certain amount of time, for other students it's going to take longer. Um, since I was recording a lot of those like, you know, step-by-step -step tutorials, I kind of took that and then estimated like, okay, they're probably going to have to pause it and, you know, to like, alt tab over to the window that they're actually working in, you know, and so like kind of take the length of the tutorial and then multiply by like 1.5 or so to like, you know, that was kind of my formula. Um, but then like you also have to acknowledge the fact that I don't really expect my students who are at home to be spending the same amount of time working as they would if they were here in the building. Um, and that's just kind of like, I don't think there's a way to, to, to fix that. We're not accommodating for time and how time is experienced in a face-to-face -face classroom and how time is experienced by teachers and students online. So I know many schools are cutting back on the amount of live time that they're having between teachers and students because the fatigue is so, is so raw. So for high school students who are taking seven classes, if they have five minutes between each class, that's 45 minutes long, you just can't sit in front of a computer that long. So when we think about how to reconceptualize time, whose time and what kind of time do we value? Do we value the time between the live time between teacher and student? Do we value the live time between students and students? How much do we value the time that students spend on their own working on things. These are the kind of the tensions that are existing right now. And I imagine if we continue in this pandemic crisis teaching mode, we're going to get better and better at figuring out how we value time.